Hello friends, my name is Sanindra and in this video I am going to give you notes of digestive system of periplanet Americana and if you see my previous videos I have explained you this topic but in this video I am not going to explain you the topic I am just giving the notes for the proper explanation of the video the link of that video will be given in the description box so the people who are interested please open my description box and open the link so now let us discuss about this notes and the digestive system of the cockroach consists of elementary canal and digestive glands so coming to the elementary canal it begins with mouth and ends with anus but pre-oral cavity surrounded by mouth parts is present in front of mouth. This cavity is divided at the anterior cybarium and posterior salivarium by hypopharynx. The long elementary canal of cockroach divisible as foregut, midgut and hindgut. So first let us discuss about the foregut. It is also known as stomadium. Mouth opens into pharynx and the pharynx leads into narrow tubular esophagus. esophagus opens behind into a large thin walled distensible sac structure called crop. This crop serves as a reservoir for food. Its outer surface is covered a network of trachea. Crop is followed by the gizzard is thick walled muscular sac. Its inner chitinous lining has six teeth. Behind each tooth it has a hairy pad. It is covered by backwardly directed movable crystals. In the gizzard, food is thoroughly grounded by the teeth and filtered by the bristles. A membranous projection of gizzard called stomadial wall extends into the midgut as the funnel and prevents regurgitation of the food. Coming to the second one, midgut. It is also called mesentron or ventriculus. The midgut is functionally divided into anterior secretory part and posterior absorptive part. The secretory part has many gland cells to secrete digestive enzymes. Some of the cells secrete a chitinous and porous peritrophic membrane around the bolus. This membrane protects the wall of the midgut from hard particles in the food. Digested food is absorbed into the blood through the peritrophic membrane in the posterior absorptive region of the ventriculus. Six to eight finger-like diverticula called hepatic CK are present between gizzard and ventriculus. They are useful in digestion and absorption of food material. The opening of ventriculus into heat gut is controlled by sphincter muscles. It prevents the entry of undigested food and uric acid from the hind gut to the mid gut. Hind gut. It is also known as prokaryom. It is long coiled tube made of three parts ileum, colon and rectum. Ileum is a short narrow tube behind mesentron. Six bundles of malfusion tubules open into ileum at its junction with midgut. Ileum receives uric acid from malfusion tubules and undigested food from midgut. Ileum leads into a long coiled tube colon. Colon opens into rectum. Rectum is short and wide tube. Internally rectum has six longitudinal chitinous pores called rectal papillae. These papillae are useful for reabsorption of water for undigested food. Rectums open into anus. Digestive glands, salivary glands, hepatic CK and glandular cells at the anterior part of the midgut are associated with elementary canal. So, salivary glands. They are a pair of glands attached ventrolaterally to the crop one at each side. Each gland has two lobes with a reservoir of reptacle between them. Each lobe has many lobules called acini. Each acinus is made up of many glandular cells called zymogen cells. Each lobule has a small ductile and all such ductules form both lobes of each gland unite to form the common salivary duct. These two ducts from the both sides join to form the median salivary duct. A receptacular duct arises from the each reservoir. The two receptacular ducts of the two glands unite to form the common duct, receptacular duct. The median salivary duct opens into common receptacular duct to form the efferent salivary duct. This duct opens at the base of hypopharynx. Saliva secreted by these glands contain MLS2 digest starch. And this is the diagram okay, of salivary gland of periplanet Americana. Hypopharynx, efferent salivary duct, median salivary duct, common salivary duct, lobe of salivary gland, receptacular duct, common receptacular duct and salivary receptacle. So this is the notes for this 
topic of peri planet america and digestive system of peri planet america for the proper explanation of this topic the link of that video will be given in the description box or i mean i already explained this video i, I already explained this topic so for the proper explanation of this topic the link will be given in the description box so people who are interested please open the link and please do watch that video so understanding the concept is much important thing okay thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box thank you